Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. Today we're going to talk about neck imaging. Not necessarily cervical spine, but neck imaging. We're going to go from images like this to this with one simple trick. If you have it available though, stick around and I'll show you. Thanks for tuning in to my channel, guys. For those who are new, my name is back again. I'm an MRI with Agafur. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced. I'm writing topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. In the beginning of the video, I show you two images. One was a little bit reduced, not good, and the other one was much better. Let's go to the scanner and I will show you what I did. All right, currently we are at 3T, but it doesn't matter. It should work on 1.5 touch less well. I never tried it, but you can see the impact, so it should work. So I will show you what I did. First thing I did was having a standard coil set up without the ultraflex, only the, the head coil and the, the neck. So let's scan that one. And I just did a transversal plane just to, to test it out in front of the neck. So in the back, we know that the cervical spine, it should work with the standard coil setup, but in the front of the neck, sometimes it can be difficult to highlight that area. So we're gonna test it out. So I'm just gonna do a fine tuning position right here. You can see all the calls on there. And then we're gonna do the same for the ultra flex. So I just need to do a new localizer because the ultra flex is now on and I didn't move the patient a little bit to, to fit that coil. So I'm gonna to try to position as exactly as possible. Okay, just copy that and move it a little bit down. So, all right, I'm just gonna check that the coil is on. As you can see the ultra flex in the front is on the neck elements and uh, yeah so let's try to scan those two and we're gonna compare all right the setup is like this you can see in the first images with the standard routinely the head uh, neck coil so this is just for demonstration so do not have the lead against uh, skin should have something in between here so the lead won't uh, touch the skin but nevertheless this is for demonstration for you guys how i did it and you can see here on that image I have this ultraflex on the front. So how is this possible? It can be a little bit different position than the ultraflex if the patient is lying standard in the head neck coil. You can see here, the shoulder is touching the end of the coil. But here I slide the patient a little bit down and you can see that now it fits, the ultraflex fits, right? So it's much better for having that ultraflex lying like this. So the shoulder is not touching the end of that coil so it fits much better. By that, you can also see the image quality is way different. In front right here, which is the area of interest, like I said in the beginning, it's not the cervical spine we're after here, we're after in front of the neck. You can see the signal intensity here is much, much better by having this coil in up front and activate it and use it. That's the tips of today. Well, that's it guys. I hope you find this video valuable. Even though if you have this coil equipment available, Please try to use it and uh, test if it works because I can see the really good difference between having it on and off the Ultraflex. So uh, test it out if you have the possibilities to do so. Before we close up, I do have a question for you. Do you use the Ultraflex for neck imaging? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button and hit the subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get a ding ding whenever new things from me are coming up. I will catch up with you in my next video. Take care. Peace out.